I got my radiator in. I want to do a test fit. Uh, U.S. radiator, 55 Chevy pickup. Um, got to modify the core support. Give you a couple of pieces here to put on. All right. So, a core support. Down here in the bottom, over here, this piece has got to fit in. So what I got to do is I got to cut these out right here so this piece will fit in because this is what the radiator is going to rest on. This radiator is not the old 55 Chevy radiator that bolts right into here. Actually, will bolt where the radiators goes when I get my uh, finish air conditioning. It'll bolt on here and face this way. But uh, until then, I'm going to test it, cut this up, uh, put this piece on it. Here is, uh, once that piece goes on, this locks the bottom in, and then this goes and locks the top in. This will go up here on a core support and it'll bolt it in. So, I uh, haven't found many videos on how to do this, how this radiator goes in, so I'm going to do one. A little rubber for insulation. They don't tell you where it goes, it goes top to bottom. I'll figure it out or cut another one. So, what I got to do. Cut this piece out. Eye protection, I already screwed my eyes up once. So, uh, it's the only tool I got that will go in there. I had a Harbor Freight reciprocating, you know, one of those little saws. Broke after the first use. They got new versions. I haven't gotten it yet. I'm going to try it out. But for now, I'm just going to cut it. can't get to the very last piece so I gotta work it back and forth all right so basically you cut these braces out here and also here this way This piece, with no instructions, goes here. So, done with the cutting. As you can see, let's see if I can bring this closer.
what I've done. Is hopefully you can see that, but this piece went here was a brace. Still got this piece, and I had to cut it off because the support that's going to hold the radiator is going to go across here. So one thing you got to do is cut these off. So you know doesn't say it. I haven't found the instructions. The instructions that I used to find online is gone. So this first thing, cut this piece off. I gotta move the camera. Boom. What I'm gonna do is put these pieces where they gotta go. I got the uh, washes, vibration washes. Okay, so I got that sitting there. I'm going to go pull the radiator out of the box, so I'm going to pause the video. All right, so this is the radiator. comes with two fans for an LS. I'm going to try and fit it. Plenty of room. Nice if I had a third hand. So, all 
I'm gonna take the uh, pause it. I'm gonna take the phone off. I want to show you some things. All right. So the biggest fear is: Do you have enough space or not? I don't know if you can see that, but I got plenty of space. I wasn't sure, even though all the measurements. I don't know if you can see. I got a gap here. I need that gap. I pushed it back like that because I need the gap. Because that's where the mounting, right in here, the vintage air uh, condenser mounting flange goes there. So, got plenty of space for that. Got plenty of space for my fans. Uh, Going to be tight right there. Real tight. I have to figure out hose fitment there. Because I got to get from here to here. Uh, it's going to be real tight. Let's see what I can do. Slice a piece of this off. It might just fit. I have to work on it. But that's the only tight spot I see is right here. It is because I got to get a 90 degree on bend on that. The other thing is, this guy, cool, looks like a nice angle, can be a real short, short 90, so the only thing I got to figure out is what I do with this guy, I'll have to see what kind of options I got. Because it's going to be a close and tight fit right here. But, not as bad as I would think it's going to be. It all looks good. So, I had to take a stop, do a test fit of my radiator before I put it away. But uh, right for now, looks good. One thing I haven't done yet... This piece here goes underneath here. I don't know if you can see it. I'll try to show you if I can get it to focus. It goes in here and it keeps the radiator bottom from pulling out. So I'm going to put that in the market. Test fit good. Figure out about this. Worst comes to worst. I can always get a clamp here. And cut a little of this off to get the hose to fit. But I might have other options. Don't know yet. So, get the radiator in. Get the wiring done. Put some gasoline in it. It's going to be still a little while, but I might be able to start this puppy up. That'd be a nice goal to reach. Still a lot of work to go, but progress. All right.